Hi everyone, how are you? Hope you're well. We are going to do some more evaluations, this time with multiplication and addition and subtraction. I am assuming that you watched all the rules for multiplying integers. You watched this video, and I'm assuming you did this with me. Okay, so if you'd like to pause this video right now and try these on your own, you can. I'm gonna be really picky with the work that you show, as is every math teacher that you have, okay? So I tell you, if I go too quickly, I'm going to make a careless mistake. So I'm gonna go kind of slow and steady. Okay, so again, if you wanna pause it and try these on your own, you can. And then if you wanna just check your work with me, you can. Okay, number one, you always substitute in with parentheses. Also, make sure you plug in the raw, the correct number. You've watched me do this and I plug in the wrong number, oops. So if you plug in the wrong number, you're going to get it wrong. That's really good teaching right there, right? We did this at the beginning of the year. We just didn't do it with negatives. So now I'm gonna do it with the negatives. So this is eight times negative five, because x is negative five, plus two times two, right? So these are called evaluations, and I literally made up these letters and made up numbers that I thought were good. If I were to give you a test, I love every one of these. I love these two the best. That's why I start them. So step one is always substitute in the right numbers, substitute in with parentheses. So eight times negative five is negative 40, plus two times two is four. This is my sneaky way of doing evaluations, multiplying integers, order of operations, and adding integers. I'm really tying a lot of things that we learned all year, I'm really tying it together. Here's where kids get tricked. The numbers look small and kids just think it's easy because the numbers are small. They fly through it, they get a lot wrong, so careful. Number two, okay, if you don't plug in with parentheses, you're going to get it wrong. Negative five times negative five is positive 25. Can I show you something up here? If you were to have written it like this, right, and not done those parentheses, if you wrote it like this, this actually equals negative 25, okay? This is a little sidebar, here's why. The squared is only applied to the five. Five squared is 25, then you apply the negative sign. So if over here you left out the parentheses and wrote a positive 25, I would mark it wrong because if you leave out the parentheses, that's what it equals. Here's another trick. Do not make these two negative. If you do, you're not following order of operations. You have to square that negative four first. So first I use this, right? I just am copying it. I didn't do anything with it. Now negative four times negative four is positive 16 and that's that negative sign. See, the numbers aren't big, but be careful. And now 25 minus 16 is nine. Number three, okay, negative Z was a negative four, I know I moved it up, plus X is negative five. Again, don't make those two a positive. First you do your squaring, order of operations. You copy that negative sign because there's nothing to do with it. Negative four times negative four is positive 16 combined with my debt of negative five is negative 21. Okay, I love th these. Ooh. Uh -oh. ah, wait, I messed up, hold on, hold on. Oops, sorry, I'm here. I don't know what I pressed. Sorry, I'm here. Okay, 
Number four, three times negative five, right? Substituting in minus, now, now I can make those two a plus, plus 12. Order of operations, I'm doing my multiplication and then I'm adding or combining my debt with my money. Okay, you see I'm picking up speed. Sometimes when I pick up speed is when I get them wrong. So I'm gonna warn you to be careful. Negative four times negative five plus Z is negative four squared. Okay, this is separated by that addition sign. So I'm gonna do this multiplication and because it's separated by this, Addition sign, negative four squared is negative four times negative four, which is positive 16. Okay, kids will say to me, is this five times y? Never, never, this is five times x times y. So five times x times y, okay. So that's five times five is 25. Positive times negative is negative. And my final answer is negative 50. Again, you see me getting a little fast. These numbers are small, so just be careful. All right, seven times Z minus X is a package of negative five. So seven times negative four is negative 28, plus five is negative 23. Two more, these two are still my favorites. These two, if I gave you a test, I love every one of these. I really love two and three, but I really love every one of these. All right, three times Z, plus negative five, negative 12 combined with my debt of negative five is negative 17. And last, x times y times z, x is negative five times y is two times z is negative four, five times two is 10 times the negative, times negative four, or you could put parentheses there, just know that you multiply. My answer is a positive 40. Okay, this is one of my favorite topics to teach. Looks so easy, but you gotta go slow and steady. Okay, hope you guys are enjoying my YouTube videos, and I will see you in September. Bye.